magnetism, gravity. I feel the power. What's up, guys? This is Jay from Generation Geek, and today we have a banger for you. We have the master of magnetism, Magneto, versus the master of gravity, Graviton. This was suggested by my man, LJ or lady i don't know not sure but lj suggested it in the comments in the blue marvel century video and i knew i would have my work cut on me for this one so here we are i've done a lot of studying it took a lot of science it took a lot of scans but i got it together we here so let's get into it as always if you guys are new here please like share and subscribe and join the g geek fam we'll love to have you now a lot of you already know who Magneto is, he's the master of magnetism, his powers scale just beyond magnetism, um, he can do electromagnetic fields, energy blasts, control the iron in people's blood, all different types of things. So we know who Magneto is, most people do, so we don't even have to go over Magneto that deep. But we do have to go over Graviton. Graviton's a little bit more obscure, I would say. Um, his power is immense. Graviton is a scientist whose name was Franklin Hall. He was working on practical teleportation in Canada. Of course, the machine blew up, gave him powers over uh, gravity, and he basically became a god. Super powerful, this man. Um, if you guys have never seen Avengers, Earth's Mightiest Heroes, check it out. First going they fight in that series was not Loki, but was instead Graviton. Graviton is a freaking hoss, bro. Like... He has, obviously Magneto is the same. They're both Team Buster characters. Obviously, I, I, I personally believe that Magneto is a little bit better character just because of character death and obviously all his appearances and stuff and all the X-Men books and Avengers books or whatever. But Graviton's power just puts him at like a high crazy level. And he's not used often because he is simply so powerful. Um, he does struggle with his confidence a lot. He has kind of that, you know, gladiator thing going on where he's not always confident. So his power kind of waxes and wanes. But at its peak, and as always in versus battles, we look at the characters at their peak power. This man has been able to lift multiple cities up at one time. He's been able to lift up, obviously, groups of heroes, including Wonder Man, uh, Genesis Vale, Storm. Every, almost every hero in the Marvel Universe at one time. Graviton lifted them all up into the air at once, like held them in suspended animation. You talking about Thor with Mjolnir, Hulk, the thing, all of these powerhouses he was able to contain just by himself. So his power is extreme, extremely high. Um, he's been able to obviously, like I said, take all the Avengers fights. He's been able to fight the likes of people like Vision, characters that can control their density and Moonstone. He's able to manipulate them no matter what phase of density they're in. He controls that as well. I mean, he controls literally the fundamental force of nature. So as we know, his power power is super super crazy and then we have magneto the master of magnetism now again like i said the highest range of feats now of course we know old 80s 70s magneto was probably one of the most powerful beings on earth he's still pretty powerful now but back then magneto was him like as a villain magneto was him you talking about he was fighting the avengers he was able to uh, hold back hercules himself by controlling the iron in his blood he's able to make people do what he want bent to their will using magnetism magneto is a hoss as well he's nothing to sleep on he's has instances when he's been able to pull power from other planets closer to his orbit from the moon he's been able to pull a literal bullet a big giant bullet that had kitty pry in the sky it was somewhere in space and i remember magneto just sitting there meditating and he was able to pull this thing from hundreds of millions of miles probably some light years away he was able to the bullet was getting close to earth and he was able to pull the bullet back to earth so that he can bring kitty pry back home magneto's power is nothing to be slept on at all now we have some few caveats because I know when it comes to this battle, a lot of people are going to say a couple things like, oh, well, Graviton would just crush Magneto. Yes, we've seen him do this to characters like the Beetle where they were just in the pseudo armor. And he literally just crushed, like crushed this person inside of this suit and turned him into like a little a, a little paperweight. Like literally he just crushed it. So we know that he has the power to do that. We also know that Magneto has the power to affect uh, people's electrical synapses in their brains and stuff like that. Obviously control the bloodstream. But those two, I don't think they'll be able to do it to each other um, simply because there are scans of Graviton being able to fight against his own his own bleeding out. Graviton was bleeding out. He's able to use his gravitational powers to slow his bleeding. So there's no reason to think that he cannot obviously stop Magneto from controlling the iron in his blood. I know that's what people are going to. He could just control the iron in his blood and take all his blood out. Nope. Graviton has a hack against that and I don't believe he'll be able to crush just simply crush Magneto un against unbelievable force Magneto has been shown to be able to manipulate some gravitational forces
We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Hey, it's Doc Solo here. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and uh, clicking on our channel. But I have a very small favor to ask. You know, this is a new venture for us. And, you know, we're very, very grateful for you guys consuming our content. But if you could do one small thing and actually subscribe and hit the notification bell, we notice that despite having respectful views for a channel this size, that many people that are watching and even commenting aren't actually subscribing. And so if you'd like to see more from us and to just encourage us to continue because you dig what we're putting down, please hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you know when we post new content and when we go live, and we will endeavor to continue to bring you some of the most relevant content that we possibly can. And so thank you so much. I got work to do. Enjoy the video. Um, he was able to create a wormhole. And for those of you who don't know, wormholes and black holes are similar in some ways. They're not the same. At the center of black holes are singularities. Black holes usually have no end. But in science fiction, wormholes are black holes with an other side to it. Like there's two, if you look at a, a wormhole, there's literally two sides. The side you go in on, and the side you come out. So in science fiction, obviously has not been proven scientifically because we do not see wormholes. But in science fiction, wormhole, worm, worm, wormholes, you're able to go in one side and come out the other. So we do know that he's able to simulate gravitational forces to some extent, but even in like certain scans, it takes extreme effort. Like nose is bleeding and stuff like that. Even a scan with him pulling Kitty Pryde from space, like his nose is bleeding. Then you have Graviton, who's able to just lift multiple cities with no effort whatsoever. Like Lily's just chilling, is able to keep the cities up in the sky, hold the world um, at ransom and things like that. Like he's able to do these things effortlessly. He's been able to weigh down Wonder Man and Thor and all these other powerhouses, Iron Man, anybody you can think of, he's been able to do. They both have powers over uh, radio waves, radio waves being a form of electromagnetic radio rays being a form of electromagnetism magneto's obviously able to control that but it has been shown that graviton's been able to control that as well too he was able to bend to, to receive information from the radio waves he's been able to bend light itself so he can see what's going on from miles away so when it comes to electromagnetic spectrum we know that graviton is able to tap into that as well so many of you may believe that okay well this fight you know it's kind of close and yes and no so for me this is just a comic book fan of me, okay? The comic book fan of me says that Magneto is way more versatile than Graviton. Of course he's going to be way more versatile because Magneto has had way more instances and way more showings than Graviton has had the opportunity to have. But then Graviton, every situation that he has had or instances in comics, he has shown to be extremely capable, extremely powerful, and obviously to take on powerhouse teams, almost the entire Marvel universe of heroes all at once. And Mag even Magneto hasn't done that. Granted, Magneto has done some significant things, but he has not done that per se. So when it comes to raw power, I will have to give it to Graviton. When it comes to versatility, I'll have to give it to Magneto. And that will make it a draw. But then we have to get into the science. For those of y'all don't know, I'll wear glasses. So this is where the science comes in, okay? So what you guys have to understand is that gravity and magnetic fields are two distinct forces that operate in different ways and have different effects on different objects. Gravity is a fundamental force of nature that acts over long distances and is always attractive, meaning it pulls objects towards each other. It's the force that governs the motion of planets, stars, and galaxies. Magnetic fields, on the other hand, arise due to the motion of electric charges. They exert forces on other moving charges and magnetic materials. These forces can be attractive or repulsive, depending on the orientation of the magnetic pole. In most scenarios, gravity and magnetic fields don't directly interact with each other because they affect different aspects of matter. However, in extreme situations such as those found in the cosmos where gravitational forces are immensely stronger than magnetic ones they can influence the behavior of charged particles within the magnetic fields for instance in the vicinity of a black hole or a neutron star where gravitational forces are intense they can overcome the magnetic forces and influence the motion of charged particles causing phenomena like electromagnetic radiation or particle acceleration so all that to say like in a big summary is while gravity and magnetic fields are distinct forces in certain extreme environments gravity overwhelming strength can influence the behavior of charged particles with magnetic fields while magnetic fields can't really affect those of gravity <sighs> okay science time is over so when it comes to gravity 
magnetism is not matching up against gravity now yes on earth gravitational maybe gravitational fields may be seen as like a, a weaker force but when you talk about the grander cosmos gravity is everything gravity is what hold planets together it's what is able to bring things to and from the planet within itself magnetism is usually like sunken at obviously the core of the earth or the balance of the earth but gravity is what gives up its pull when it comes down to it i'm gonna have to give it to graviton graviton simply just has the raw power he has the showings to be able to counter the things that Mag magneto may be able to use against him while magneto has zero to no instances against going against gravity power beings now yes Magneto has had high showings of going against the Phoenix Force and stuff like that, but Gravity has went against the entire Marvel superhero landscape. So the, the range of powers and things like that are pretty much even when it comes to team busting ability and stuff like that. But if you look at the science of it, I got to give it to Graviton. But what do you guys think? As always, I appreciate you guys chilling with us and appreciate all the love that you've been showing on previous videos and in the comments. But who do you think wins this battle? And who would you like to see in the next versus battle? As always, leave it in the comments. I have been Jay from Generation Geek. Y'all be blessed. Peace.